Hi guys, and welcome back to episode 2 of Hurt World. And today, we are in the middle of nowhere, because we've been murdered by Lupin. And he's stolen all of our stuff. And that sucks, because he's also got all our food. And we're going to get pretty cold out here in the open. But what we're going to try and do, is we're going to try and sneak attack Lupin with our javelin. And hopefully bash his head in, and kill him. And get all our stuff back. So... We're gonna. Okay, we're a bit cold, but that's okay because we've got ages. We've got six minutes. Six minutes is plenty of time to murder Lupin. I thought Lupin was a nice guy. He kind of left me be. I knew there was someone shooting at me. But, um, he's over here, probably gouging himself on our delicious food that we so painstakingly gathered ourselves. But, over here, there is. This is not my setup. My setup is over there. So we're going to find Lupin, and we're going to murder him. Because this guy does not know that it's not smart to mess with the guinea pig. Because the guinea pig bites back. That's my little phrase that should be. Do you reckon? <laughs> nah, it's a bit, bit lame. <laughs> Interesting story, I've actually been bitten by a guinea pig before. More painful than you'd think. A lot more painful than you'd think. But here's a st stick, always useful. Now, where has Lupin ran off to? We must be careful of that random guy's house. He has... It appears he's kind of gone off. He's kind of disappeared a bit, hasn't he? Oi! Mate! Where you at? Just, um... Some... Dirty talk. Well, not... What? <laughs> not dirty talk. I'm talking... Talking, uh... Wrong word. Wrong word. But, um... Oh! I hear both shots. Oi! Right. He's out there somewhere. He's shooting us. He's shooting. Where is he? Radiation bore? Oh god, that does not look friendly. If we stand still, is he going to shoot at us? Was that just the sound of someone building? Oh, damn it. Actually, we're going to have to chase that little thing, because we need some food. Yes, got him. And has he given us some food? He has. <laughs> well, um, I think he's not really fully dead, but he's still giving us our meat. So I'm just going to leave him there to go about his business and see how he gets on with that. But, okay, so we're going to run back to this place that we might as well call home. He's probably nicked all our food from the thing. In fact, oh, the whole campfire's gone. Great. So that probably means we need to go get some more of that. And I'm actually going to freeze in 92 seconds, so I need to I need to actually hurry because I'm going to die. <laughs> that might be looping over there. Okay, let's quick. Okay, so quick, we need. Machines, campfire. Oh, are you kidding me? Only 13? <laughs> oh god, we're in a lot of trouble right here. This is not going to plan at all. We need some more wood quickly. That's iron. 72 seconds, oh god. We're really in the thick of it now. And I'm so hungry. Oh god, it just gets worse. Here we go. Okay. Come on. Please give us seven. <laughs> 58 seconds. Twi okay, seven. Perfect. Let's go. Okay. I'm running back. And I'm rubber banding a little bit. Come on. Come on, server. 
You can do it. Oh god. Oh, the rubber banding is terrible. 40 seconds, and it's starting to get light, but that's not going to save us from hyperthermia. So we're going to quickly... Oh, it's not going to save us from hunger either. Craft that campfire. And let's slam it on the floor. No build permission? What? No! Yes! Oh, I like that bad boy. Let's get some food in there. Okay, so we saved ourselves from disaster. We have not got our revenge on Lupin yet, but that may come in the future. Has Lupin disconnected? No, Lupin appears to still be in the game. Why am I still freezing? I'm next to the campfire. Excuse me? Do I have to stand on the campfire? Oh god. How am I dying? Did someone shoot at me? No, I'm just on fire. Oh god. Uh oh, this is not good. I might be burning. How do I look? Pretty, pretty red. Uh oh. Burning. Heat stroke. Oh god. Get in the shade. Oh no, my food though. Oh no, please don't be burnt. Yes, nice and char grilled. Just unlight our fire before it burns us to death. And it looks like there's actually a friend over there. Everyone's getting hyperthermia, it's horrific. But while everyone else is... No touch on server. Well, okay. I know, I'm not going to blame the server. I would not um, want to be in this position where I've got all these people running around, shooting each other, killing each other, and killing everything. And that would just... That would totally suck to be endorsing that, but... Hey ho, you you know, you're you're in the situation. You've got to kill some people to get somewhere, haven't you? Exactly. I don't know what I'm saying. Wrong tool. So our heat stroke's slowly going away, which is quite nice. And there's someone over there. Is he no he's running away. But he did he leave his door open? There's a huge tree there. He didn't leave his door. There's someone else there. <gasps> he's shooting at us. Oh god, he's seen us. Oh god, we better be on the run. Trees for cover. Not again. Come on. Oh no. Come on. He's running after us. Why? Why? Why must you be so cruel? Yes. Excuse me. Oh, thank you. Thank you, kind stranger. Well, I didn't quite understand that last part, but it looks like all sometimes all it takes is a little bit of conversation because, as my good friend always says, um, conversation beats confrontation, and that seems to be the way of the world in the hurt world. But anyway, we've got some iron ore here, and we get the pickaxe out and we slam it in, and we should get some nice iron going, but it looks like getting a house is going to be quite a challenging affair after last night's ordeal and this guy is look, kind of running us straight in the face so let's see if we can hello <laughs> I hate when that happens let's hope he stays there while we kindly while we slowly just kill him oh god got him 
It's raining again, so we're going to get a little bit wet. But we're also going to get a little bit of iron, so it kind of balances it out a bit. I think it'd be nice if the ores kind of blended into the ground a bit more. But um, you really, you really can't, you can't judge when it's an alpha game, can you? Maybe that's why games are alpha games, just so you can't have an opinion on them. But this guy's kind of standing still. Oh god, he's back from, he's back in the action, but not for long, because he's about to die. And there is a whole world of pain and hurt over here. And we've got some more flint, but we need some logs, because we're going to be building a bit of a hut. Actually, we might not be, but we certainly have a bit of a hovel going for our house. Oh, and there's a lot of all wrong plants growing over there, which we might be able to harvest later to get some nice food resources. But there is... Oh, no, I hit him in the belly. It seems that he doesn't mind being hit in the belly. It's more, oh, they're ripe or wrongs, but he's coming back for more. So let's give him more. And he's dead. Nice. I think I got all that. Right, let's, let's dive into this piece of wood here. It sounds like there's someone else nearby. Let's harvest these orongs because we can actually um, plant them ourselves and cultivate a bit of an orong garden. But um, I can certainly hear someone going about their everyday life near here, so we might have to be wary because, as you can see, people are not too slow at drawing their bow, and that kind of rhymes. But they certainly they do not think twice about shooting you in the face. Which is not really what you want if you're trying to survive in the hurt world. And there is, there he is over there. Let's jump up, see if he can see us. I don't think he's looking our direction. And this guy's kind of, kind of running on the spot. I guess it must be some kind of exercise, but. Now he's realised that he should be actually running, whereas running on the spot is not going to get you anywhere. But this guy obviously realises that if he starts putting his effort towards thing, running, what? <laughs> if he starts putting his mind to it, he could really get somewhere in life. And that's that's a good message for anyone who feels like running away from a guy holding a spear. But Zed is still standing tall. Probably took that guy quite a while to make. But there is actually a log here which we want to collect. And this guy in front of us is probably quite rich because he's got some iron iron ramps. I think they're iron ramps. I don't think I can really dig into them at the moment, but <gasps> he's got an open doorway. It's quite cheeky. And a door I can't open. Damn it. <gasps> I heard someone. Don't tell me this is his house. Maybe I shouldn't be standing on it. <laughs> and there's another source of nutrition over here. Oh, missed. Oh well. But we do want to get ourselves a bow. Because that will really help us to survive. Because these spears just really don't cut it. They're a bit, they're a bit on the weak side. If you know what I mean. Like... When you're fighting someone in a one-on-one -on -one battle, you don't want to be the guy with the spear when the other guy has a bow or even a gun, which are actually available items in this game to craft. They're kind of a bit more late game, but a gun should certainly be something we'll head for. And I heard... Hello? And it actually looks like... If I remember correctly over here, someone, it really sounds like someone's shooting at us, but it might just be a similar sound. But over here, our setup is actually gone. Someone has gone and nicked all of our stuff, which I think is quite mean, considering our circumstances. But look, over here, 
we got nothing now. They've taken it all. They've taken it all for themselves. Which is a bit rude. But, um, I guess you can't really call someone rude in a world like this. However, you probably couldn't kill, call someone some foul language. That's, you can, that's, um, probably quite acceptable. You could also kill someone. And I missed what that guy was saying because I was too busy rambling. Um... <laughs> I'll just go about my everyday business. If he wants some attention, he can always call us again. Beckon into the darkness that is the bright daylight. But at the moment, we're just going around collecting resources, because in order to build a house, I forgot what you need, but you need some stuff. You certainly need some cement foundations. Or at least I think you need cement foundations. Oh, God. Well, you're kind of right there, aren't you? Talk about asking for it. Are you kidding me? That was so close. Oh, uh oh. Oh god, mashing buttons. And straight in the face. Oh god, where'd you come from? Die! Die! You die, you foul creature! Thank you. Thank you for sacrificing yourself to the gods. Of Hurt World. But over here, we're just gonna... Oh, hello there. Can't actually collect that. But we're just gonna get this iron ore here. And maybe we should steal this guy's house. I wonder if he's claimed it yet. Not authorised. Are these both empty? Looks like this guy's actually um got himself quite set up here, but there's nothing on this. It's just a tower. But, oh, this. Hello? Oh God! Hello? Please don't hurt me. Uh oh. We're in trouble. Please don't kill me. Okay, okay, okay. We got this. Hello, hello. 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 Are hello. you new? Yeah, I just joined the server. Oh, cool. Well, that guy was a bit of a nutcase, the guy that just ran off down the road. I thought he was going to kill me. Yeah, you do um, run into some fairly interesting characters out in the world of her, but um, sometimes you just got to avoid and avoid, well, evade and ignore. Ignoring people is probably the best way to not die in the hurt world. But it looks like we've run out of time for this episode. We've kind of dragged on a little bit. I hope you don't mind. But um, I'm sure next episode we will be set up enough to build a house. I swear it. I swear we will. Every time I say we will. But next time we definitely will. But anyway, I guess that's um goodbye for this episode. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.